Greetings and blessed to you once again, people of God, is the revelator once again. And hoping the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. Now, before we enter into today's presentation, I just want to give you a brief reminder of some of the presentations that we covered. We covered 10 different segments inside the realms and dimensions in the spirit and we covered also quite a number of creative sermons in which the word was shared in different categories and the criteria of influence to equip the spirit man and today we want to enter into a very creative presentation inside the word of god which will enable you to always stay prepared and always pray all the time always worship the lord all the time and today we want to get into the presentation titled the end of time and inside the end of time we want to focus on the last signs of destruction and i'm praying that you fully participate in this presentation and hoping the holy spirit is going to Asha you so that you are given the with the word of wisdom and understanding and you are given the word that will prepare you and help you understand that the time of the coming of the son of man is near or beforehand let us get into scriptures in the book of matthew chapter 24 verse 4 and it reads and jesus answered and said unto them take heed that no man deceives you these words he spake after his disciples had inquired him of the signs that they must be prepared to see before his coming and jesus starts giving them some of the signs that they should expect before the last hour comes and before the last hour comes there should be some signs that confirm the destruction that is beforehand before the last hour strikes there are some signs and not just signs but some distractions that will take place and jesus says take it that no man deceives you for many shall come in my name saying i'm christ and shall deceive many they shall not deceive a few that is one of the most pivotal or essential signs that one needs to watch out for that some of the signs which are already in our midst are that of false christ who shall not deceive a few but deceive many who shall come using the name of jesus and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that you are not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet he talks about the end which is not yet why because these will just be signs that are just giving a signal of the end meaning that they are signs that signal the end and the signs 
that report the coming of the Son of Man and all these will happen before the final end. For nations shall rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. I explained about nations that shall rise against nations. I explained about the world wars, the conflicts, the divisions. I explained about the kingdoms rising against kingdoms. I explained about religions fighting against religions. I explained about how even kingdoms in the spirit, even churches, shall fight against the other. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places, in various places. All these are just the beginning of sorrows, the beginning of signs of destruction, the beginning that proves that the earth is losing its strength, the earth, the earth is losing its time of endurance. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and they shall kill you. And part of those last distractions amongst the signs are that they shall persecute you that are the disciples of Christ. And they shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then many shall be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Families against families, brother against brother, sister against sister. They shall be hated. And many false prophets at that very hour shall rise and shall take the opportunity to deceive many. Meaning that there shall be a rise of many false prophets who shall come and deceive many. And this is already the time, the time zone that we are now inside of. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. People shall become evil. They shall become heartless. They shall have that don't care attitude. They shall be mourning and crying. There shall be bitterness, anger, revenge. But he that shall enjoy to the end, the same shall be saved. Meaning that those that shall enjoy to the end, they shall be given the strength by the Holy Spirit to keep on moving forward and not being hindered by all these circumstances. We shall be uh, among the signs of the last destruction, but the end will not yet be. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. The gospel right now is being preached in almost every part of the world. It's also a sign. It's also part of the signs that the gospel shall be preached in all the four corners of the earth. And while least the gospel shall be preached, it shall be one of the last signs, according to the scripture that I read. Why? Because the gospel shall come to give almost everyone a chance to repent. Everyone shall be given a chance to listen to the gospel. Everyone shall be given the opportunity to hear the word of God. So that when the time of destruction, which is the end, when it comes, no one shall have an excuse of saying, I never heard the word. Meaning that the gospel shall be preached even in places that you don't expect the gospel to be heard. In public transports in supermarkets, in workplaces, inside houses, 
in aeroplanes, it shall be preached in various places. It shall be preached online. It shall be preached in, in the usual places inside church, church buildings. All those places, preached in, in funerals, all those places the gospel shall be preached so that each and everyone is given the opportunity to repent before the last destruction, which is the end of time. Christ has given us the signs of the last signs and the end time destruction. But part of the signs of the last destruction will be coming to just give us information which is an information of alerting us it will be like a panic pattern an alarm which signals that is coming is drawing nearer and nearer let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of the house now this is now the end of time destruction the end of time destruction shall come alongside the rapture but the rapture is going to come with its signs not just signs only but events of destruction destructions that shall be natural and destructions that shall turn against humanity being destructions that are implemented by even the technology that men built and they shall be explosions they shall be malfunctions of technology they shall be mayhem a lot shall happen that signals the last hour destruction be before rapture or in the process of rapture happening neither let him which is in the field return to take his clothes may that it will be a destructive moment to the extent that even one that is in the field is being given a message of awareness not to go back and even take his clothes earlier on christ also hints about him that is on the house top not to come down to take anything out of the house why because the destruction will be so critical to the level that it won't even allow you to make even a slight movement and that very moment when that destruction will be happening the ones that are going to reign with christ for a thousand years while is still lucifer will be chained they are going to be taken they are going to ascend not in spirit only but with their bodies that is the period where some of you amongst you they shall ascend they shall disappear but obviously i'm now preaching to a generation that is possible not yet born a generation that will see the ascension of both the spiritual and physical bodies for then shall be great tribulation such as was not seen since the beginning of the world to this time no it has never been seen and except those days should be shortened there should be no flesh that should get saved what it means is that the destruction that will come might not save anyone 
that will be here on earth because this will be the end of time after all the signs would have been given and this destruction like i said it will only save those that have the mark of the lord the mark of being chosen those that have been chosen since the beginning of the world and those that have been chosen since the beginning of the world are the ones that are going to be given the opportunity to survive and their opportunity to survive that they will be given is just an opportunity of ascending they shall disappear when the destruction will be happening and except those days should be shortened they should no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened meaning that for the sake of the elect which will be in the midst of some of these those days they shall be shortened meaning that even before the elect is taken even before the chosen ascend there shall be tribulation that will happen which even the elect shall witness but the scripture then says but for the sake of the elect which will be in the midst of those that are not chosen those days will be shortened they'll be shortened so that the elect does not go also through the rate of those that will be facing the first wrath of punishment and all this that i'm explaining will be before the last trial the last judgment all this that will be happening it will be eternal before eternal fire these are just some of the distractions that will happen before rapture and in the making of rapture happening for rapture shall happen in different seasons in different time zones it shall happen inside a season in the same way that a plague comes and another plague comes but these will like these will come as different plagues of destruction and rapture will then take its course in the spirit and in the physical then at that very point of hour if any man says unto you lo here is christ or they is believe it not for they shall come false christ and false prophets and they shall show great signs in so much that if it were possible they would even deceive the elect these are some of the signs that sh shall happen before the last destruction in a bid and an attempt to try to divert the elect wherefore if they say unto you behold he is in the desert do not go he is in the secret chambers do not believe it for as the lightning strikes and comes out of the east and shines even unto the west so shall be the coming of the son of man immediately after the tribulation of those days shall be the sun darkened the moon shall not give a light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of heaven shall be shaken and there shall appear the son of man seated on the right hand side of the father and the trumpets shall be blown now on the matter of trumpets that shall be blown i'm now promising you uh, those details in the upcoming second segment of this presentation which is the end of time in this presentation i was just giving you the signs of the last destruction what is to be expected before the son of man ascends seated on the right hand side of the father and before the son of man comes seated on the right hand side of the father they shall be a lot of destruction but not this that you are being given 
the opportunity to survive. You are being given the chance to give your life to Jesus Christ. You are being given a chance to repent. You are being given a chance to be born again. So that when this hour comes, the wrath of God will not punish you. And you will be amongst those that are chosen, amongst those that have repented in the name of Jesus. Thank you. 